Hi folks, it's Kevin here again. Welcome along on another adventure around Matilda Yarvi Lake in Teo National Park. So here we have Matilda Yarvi Lake. I worked along the track to the southern shore and worked my way around anti-clockwise, passing several features on the way such as a small marina. I continued along the southern shore before passing onto a swampy area which had duckboards and then I passed around onto the northern shore, which is mainly forested. Then where that green tent is, is where I camped overnight in the tarp tent, before moving on the following morning along the northern shore. I had initially planned to continue around the shore, passing through the village before going back to the car, but it, I changed plans, instead crossing over the ice and across a small island called Isoholma, visiting the lava there, or lean-to shelter, and then I crossed the ice to the southern shore before working back along the track and back to my car. For some reason I made the mistake of setting my camera to time-lapse mode and so I have only these short montage clips of the journey to where I set up camp and setting up the actual tarp tent itself. So, hope you enjoy. we got for dinner this evening. We have outdoor meals, potatoes and onion with bacon. Sounds like a winner. Yeah, so I don't have any water left so I'm gonna have to make some by melting snow and uh, yes I think I'm about to find out that uh, it takes a lot of snow to make a decent amount of water. Good morning, folks. It's an absolutely beautiful morning. Ooh, so literally, not a cloud in the sky. And uh, so there's quite a bit of heat in that sun, so I came down here to eat my breakfast and have my coffee. Yeah, it's about minus seven. And uh, looks like it's going to be a nice day. Cheers, first coffee of the day. Mm. Oh, that sun is glorious. Let me get some vitamin D. Uh. so nice I found it. Make another cup of coffee and enjoy the sun. Just packing up the tarp, as I make a mention of 
pegs that I use if anybody's interested. Um, I bought a pack of 10 Hilleberry Y shaped aluminium pegs. They cost me 50 euros. They're very good, but they're a bit difficult to get into the ground by pushing with your hands. Um, so, but they are nice to pull out, and the string is also good enough to uh, strong enough to actually tie up a guy rope to the string as well. So, in that sense, they're very good. They'll definitely go in. Um, sort of a surprise uh, purchase was these plastic ones. I got them ten of them for five euros, and. Um, my first thought was, yeah, right, plastic, they're not going to do very well. But what I found is that on ground in the forest, they, they go in very well and they hold very well. They also have a nice flat top zone. So they're much easier to put your foot on and push them in. Just goes to show sometimes you don't need to spend a fortune on gear. Just wanted to show you my ice bikes. These are just regular spikes that you slip on over your shoes for use in urban urban settings. I'm amazed how much extra confidence they give when you're uh, walking on the ice. You don't have to be really super careful anymore. Yeah, you can get these in pretty much any any large department store. So, the strap. I'll show you about the way. Right, so and they just fit down like that, and they really give you a good grip. Ooh. Yeah, this trail and the area is absolutely beautiful, it's really magical, especially when the sun comes out. Oh. I'm uh, a little bit cold, so I have my full gear on at the moment. I guess I'll stop somewhere along the way and take it off if I get too warm. But, uh, today is Sunday and the weather has brought quite a lot of people out. There are people ice fishing. I saw one skier on the ice. Uh, people just walking with their kids. Some people are walking their dogs. There's tracks here also where there's somebody been doing some fat biking. And I saw one guy doing jogging through the woods. So uh, it's part of the culture here in Finland that Finns are actively encouraged to get out and get into the forests or get out onto a lake or basically be in nature. And uh, it definitely has positive benefits, especially in a country where there's relatively little sunlight during the winter months um, but when you have days like this it's just you can't beat it it really is fantastic to be outside so i guess it contributes to one of the reasons why finland has been voted you know one of the happiest countries in the world So, change of plan. Rather than going back through the village on foot, I decided to cut across the lake and go to this island called Isoholma. That's in the middle of the middle of the lake. It's quite a big island. On the north shore is a place where you can light fires and grill, grill sausages. And on the southern shore is a lean-to or lavo shelter. Uh, in the summer, you can get a small boat out here. But uh, obviously now I crossed the ice from the north shore to get here and now I'm working my way across the island to where the lean-to is and then I'll cross the ice back to the mainland. Of course the other good reason for coming here was to an opportunity with the ice 
being present to come out to this island and scope it out for potential camping with tent, with tarp, or maybe in some future date with hammock. And uh, from what I've seen so far, uh, if we wanted to have solitude, definitely this would be a good place to come. That ticks all the boxes if you wanted to get a real wild camp feel. Okay. Yeah, wow. This is definitely a candidate for lean-to camping or any other kind of camping for that matter. Okay, folks, so back to the car, safe and sound. Ooh, that was a bit of a trek and it got fairly warm, but very rewarding. Definitely worth going across the ice to that big island to check it out. And uh, yeah, it's got lots of potential for future campings, wild campings. This experience was fantastic. Uh, my gear did really fantastically. I hope you liked this video and uh, yeah, I look forward to bringing you along on the next adventure with me. So hope to see you on the next trail. All the best. Bye bye.